Yes, we all love to forget about COVID, but many don't have that luxury. Okay, sharp scratch. Okay. People who've had cancer or other illnesses are still at risk, as are older people. And that's why Jack's giving his blood today. Okay, all done. Okay. He's one of 150 volunteers helping scientists keep tabs on how well the vaccines are working. Yeah, talk me through your motivation for volunteering for this research. So I lost family to COVID, so the first wave last year, year before. Um, I had COVID myself, my family have caught it. So I thought, well, if I can help out in my own little way, then hopefully people, other people can benefit from that and research can work with it. And everybody else is helping out as well. Researcher Steve carries Jack's blood across Cambridge's biomedical campus to a nearby state-of-the-art lab. Since the pandemic started, they've been collecting blood regularly from a wide range of people, vaccinated, young, old, and those still at risk from COVID. It's that clear bit at the top that they're after, the plasma, where the antibodies from the vaccines live and do their work. By testing those antibodies against the coronavirus, they can check how well the vaccines are fighting off new variants. Now, a lot of people will remember the days when we were all panicking about new variants all the time, and a lot of that monitoring has now stopped, hasn't it? So is this going to keep an eye on what some of those new variants might do if and when they come along? Absolutely. The knowledge that we're uh, gaining uh, by doing our experiments using different variants and testing them against the, the antibodies produced by our patients, uh, we're able to tell whether there are gaps in the way that we're covering uh, for future variants and current ones, and therefore to inform what should go into future vaccines. COVID's under control, but it's not going away. It's vital scientists stay vigilant for those still at risk and to make sure we're all protected in future. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.